What's up everybody? Cobrinha, Kennedy. In this lesson, we're going to show you a few ways of doing the unbar from the mount position. With those details, we're going to show you, you're going to take your unbar to the next level. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please go ahead, subscribe and give us the thumbs up. So Kennedy's going to push on my chest. Right hand immediately goes to the center, the other one goes on top, yes? So it means that right now I'm going to take my right knee off the mat to make sure I step my left leg over his head. Let's do it slow first. So I pull the weight. I can't be sorry for Kenny right now. I need to put a weight over his chest. And then what we'll do now, right knee goes off the mat. I pivot on my left knee. And I'll be able to, almost sitting on Kenny's chest, step the leg over. Land as close as possible to his shoulder. If you notice that my left hand was on top, that's the one that's going to collect it, the arm. The other one, grab the wrist, and the other one also reinforce. And we can go the classic way, or we can keep holding the wrist and pinch the knees together. And we're going to slow lift the hips up and seal the deal. Now, going straight to the mouth position. I use this momentum from here to that. Hook his hips the way I'm doing so with my right foot, going straight to the mouth position. Okay? So now we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. Ken's going to push me up. One left hand goes in the center, the other one goes on top. Yes? So now what I'll do, I use the momentum, take my left knee off the mat, and then going to the almost modified mouth position. Okay? Same principle. There. That. Once I land, once again, the top hand grabs the arm, the other one grabs the wrist, and we can reinforce that yeah, this way over here, and then going to the traditional way. Pinch the knees together, lift the hips up, and see the deal. One more time, this angle now. So it's going to push on my chest. One, two, Three, four. Grab the rest, push the knees together, seal the deal. So it's going to push me. One, two, Always switch, or you can go this way, or thumb this point up to the ceiling, squeeze my knees together, and lift my hips up, seal the deal, and back to the mouth position. This drill, exactly the same. We can do slow motion the way we just did, in the middle is speed, which is my part is gonna push me. Exactly the same. Push me. One, two, and three. Again. Push me. Come in. In this case over here, what if I can straight his uh, right arm up? That and he's pushing just on my chest or trying to choke me with just from bottom with his uh, right arm. He's, it means what? I can't go to the other side. I have to go to this side. Yeah, and we're going to do exactly the same. He has one arm up, exactly the same. One, two, always. Rest. Now I can always switch and pinch the knees together and be able to 
si Budi. Okay, as one warm up, same thing. One, two, there, there, switch, and back. Again. Next one, probably my partner is straining the arm, but uh, you know it's not. I can't use my chest, no problem. Okay, so if it's not, if it's because sometimes when he pushes my chest, I can I can use Ken's momentum. But let's say Ken is it's taller than me, and then he's straining the arm the way he's doing so, and I can't use my chest. I'm going to do exactly the same. Stiff arm engagement plans. So I'm going to do exactly the same. I don't need Ken's arm, but I need to put a little bit more pressure on his chest. I'm going to do exactly the same. There it is. Exactly the same. See, I don't need to use Kenny's arm pushing on my chest in this case. All right, since we understood the straight arm lock from bottom, right, when someone pushes you, it's important for us to understand. When Kenny pushed me, I'm going to do the arm bar, okay? Pay close attention. If you don't shoot this leg, the way I'm going to do right now here. Look at my right leg, okay? So I need to make sure to take my right knee off the mat. Simultaneously, it's going to give me opportunity to step this leg over, okay, which is my left leg. So I go. There, it's easy, yeah, to do it. But if I don't do this way, if I do this, watch, here, there, there, look how far I'm falling back. And then Kenny will be able to bring the elbow to the mat and Kenny will escape. So we have to pay close attention on those details as we practice one, two, look what I'm going to land. As this leg step, this one automatically is going around his neck. I mean, around his head. There. And then down. Straight down. And I can grab, collect his arm with the top hand. Collect it. Hold the wrist. Now I want to clap right his hand. I switch grips. And then I'll be able to seal the deal. Okay? Time. Push up, it's exactly the same. I'm gonna turn this angle, you can see it from where my leg is going, is going to travel over his head. There, there, gone, that it is. And then sit comfortable, yeah? My right hand is grabbing my, my thigh, grab the wrist, switch the grips, or from here we can still can finish, okay? And then uh, one important detail over here, My heel, if you notice that, I'm bringing my heels towards my butt. Why? To not let a kidney bring his elbows to the mat. Okay? So if I do this, easy. Go ahead, Kenneth. There it is. He's going to skate because I'm straightening my legs. So I bring my heels towards my butt. That's it. Kenneth won't be able to bring his knee, I mean his elbow to the mat first. Second, because I'm squeezing my knees together, Kenneth, try to come up. He can't come up, but if I cross my leg this way, now can it's lighter. You'll be able to come up. Yes? Yes or no? Yes? Okay. So we're time here. Then, so we go squeeze, yeah, 
to make sure that my partner doesn't free the elbow because if I straight this way and try to apply the pressure, look at the elbow, it's going down, okay? Now I bring my heels towards my butt and also I pinch my knees together. Now do it, Kennedy? No. Now, if I cross my feet, they won't be so, right? And straight the legs, can you be able to come up? That's it, yeah? Or if I'm too relaxed with the leg over here, I'm not squeezing my knees together. Ken with his uh, right arm is going to push this leg, push this leg, and come this way, Ken, and now come up, come up. There it is, okay? To avoid that, so what I need to do to avoid all three, land as close as possible to my partner's shoulder, yes? Bring my heels towards my butt and pinch the knees together. There it is. Now, again, try to bend your elbow to the mat. If you notice that, I'm telling my partner to try to escape, but I'm not putting any pressure on his elbow yet. So I let him practice, and he's helping me to practice as well, okay? So he's going to get his elbow to the mat. He can't. And why? Because I'm bringing my heels towards my butt, pinching my knees together, and he won't be able to bring his elbow to the mat. Ken is going to try to come up. No chance. Heavy. Ken is going to try to clear. That is, no chance. I pinch my knees together as well, and Ken won't be able to clear my leg over his head. And when he stops, I'm going to ask him, I'm going to ask him are you ready? Yes? yes? Slow. Lift my hips up and apply the pressure down. If you notice that I'm not going straight, I'm going just a bit on the side on my groin. There, tap, let it go, and I'm going to practice on the other side as well. But remember, every time you do the arm bar, give your partner a chance to practice, which means that this escapes, which is, as I'm going for the arm bar, he pushed me, I go one, two, three, land, grab. Make your grips, switch my grips. Now my partner's going to test me. No, he cannot get the elbow down, he cannot come up, and also he cannot clear the leg over his head. And that's when I squeeze my knees together and seal the deal.